In this video, we are dividing integers and we are modeling it with number lines. Our learning target is I can represent integer operations with concrete models and connect the actions with the models to standard algorithms. So when we do division, we are dividing that number into equal groups. Multiplication was repeated addition. Division is repeated subtraction. So if we're representing this on a number line, our runner is going to go towards zero. So for this case, 12 divided by two, our runner is gonna start at 12, and then it is going to make jumps of two until it gets to zero, and then you ask yourself, how many jumps did you make? So our runner starts at 12, you're going to go towards zero, so we make a jump of two. So we made a total of six jumps. So my answer to 12 divided by two is six. All right, when we're dealing with negatives, negative means opposite. So if we have 12 divided by negative 2, that is the opposite of 12 divided by 2. All right, so for number 1, we have 18 divided by negative 3. I'm just going to make some notes of what we're going to do. We are going to start at 18. We are going to face 0. And we are going to make jumps of 3. And then we are going to take the opposite of that answer. So we're going to start at 18, facing 0. We are going to make jumps of 3. So we are going to go from 18 to 15, 15 to 12, 12 to 9, 9 to 6, 6 to 3, and 3 to 0. So we made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps. And we are going to take the opposite of that. So our answer is negative 6. All right, number 2. We are going to start at 20. We are going to face 0. We are going to make jumps of five. And then we are going to take the opposite. So 20 to 15, 15 to 10, 10 to 5, 5 to 0. So that is four jumps. And we are going to take the opposite. So my answer is negative 4. All right, number three, this time we have two negatives. So we are going to start, keep my colors consistent, start at negative 12. We want to face zero, 
make jumps of six. And then since we have another negative, we're going to take the opposite. So 12 to 6, 6 to 0, so that is 2 jumps, but we're going backwards to 0, so we're going 2 backwards, which is basically negative 2, and we're going to take the opposite of that, which is 2, so my answer is positive 2. All right, number four, we are going to start at negative six. I'm actually going to rephrase this. I wouldn't say we're facing zero. We're going to be facing the left side. So I guess in all these cases, we're facing the left. So we're facing the left direction, facing left. We would face left here. And that's how we go backwards. Make jumps of three. Take the opposite. So we start at negative six. Facing the left, we're going to go backwards. Three. So three here. And another three, so that's backwards two. Which is negative two, and the opposite of negative two is positive two. So this one's also positive two. All right, number five, there are 20 pieces of pizza left from Pizza Night. These pieces were split between five people. How many piece, uh, pieces does each person get? So I'm going to draw my number line. So this is basically doing 20 divided by 5. So I have two positives. I'm going to face the left at 20. And I'm going to make jumps of five. Oops. So that's four jumps. So each person gets four pieces. I'm going to change this. I like face left. It works out when you're on the positive side to face zero, but to be consistent, we're going to say that we're facing the left side. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching.